go ahead and open up my um, my write up here. And again, this is online already, so please relax. Don't write anything down. Uh, it's actually, as a matter of fact, I'm looking at the, at the web uh, site version of this. Okay, so it's on the website. Um, okay, very good. Let's make it bigger so everybody can see. Okay, uh, so I'm going to talk about the 19th lowly Gaussian prime today. The 19th lowly Gaussian prime is 431. <clears throat> And 40, 431 additive prime is 6733. So an additive prime is the one that when you add up its digit, it adds up to a prime number. So in this case, 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 19. Okay? Uh, so if you don't understand the first part, that what's a lonely Gaussian prime is, don't worry about it. God has let you be involved, okay? So all you have to do, add up this number and because up to 19, okay? So so you can you can also be involved and enjoy this. Okay, so uh, 4733 is the 149th cousin prime. I've already talked about this cousin, which is 4737, okay? Uh, and so, but this is also, I didn't know that this was also involved too. So, Underlies means this is new information, okay? So how, how does it mesh with the old information? 149 is the 11th emirp, and its emirp is 941, which is 31st emirp. 1131, I put those in large fonts, you see 11 and 31. 1130, first prime is 9127. Immediately, we are back to 9127, okay? 941st composite is 1131, and 1131's first prime again is 9127. 6733 happens to be the 317's harmonic prime. 317's prime number verse in the Quran is 9127. And you can verify this from my translation. Okay, I have it tabulated then. You can look at it. And you see the number of count of the prime number verses. And when you get to 9127, 127 is a prime number. So you notice that it's 317. Okay, so. And <clears throat> so again, undermine these are new information. So um, 6733 is, happens to be the 162nd lucky prime. 162nd prime is 953. 953 composite, 953 composite is 1143, which is 9 times 127. 162nd Sphinic number is 1131, and 1131st prime is 9127. 162nd composite is 209. 209 Gaussian composite is 2917. 11th permutation of 1279, which is the same numbers as 9127, okay, is 2917. And the 19th permutation is 12, 7, uh, 1279 is 9127. 209 happens to be 11 times 19. Two oh nine happens to be the frequency of Ayn Sin Qaf in chapter 42, in Surah 42. And the index of prime number 2917 is actually 422, which tells you that Ayn Sin Ghaf assigned to Surah, assigned Surah verse is 422, not 421, as some of the books I have it that way, under that way. Those, those are wrong. The book, that the Habs version, has it right. So, and this actually generates it. The arguments are over which one is correct and this and that, the others, and, and they're all the same, they're all correct. They are not correct, okay? They are wrong. And swallow this pill. Okay, stop arguing because this generates it. These numbers are generating that. So, anyway, if I want to talk about this, okay, there's another, another thing in here that, um, 559th 
um, uh, lonely prime is actually 67.33, and 559 actually is 13 times 43, and chapter 13 has 43 verses. But more importantly also, um, that number, okay, uh, 6733, and uh, uh, this, this, uh, the index of it being 559 also imposes this other condition that the index of 559, composite 559, is actually 456, which is 24 times 19. And that tells you the position of the, of the chapter 43, which is a, uh, an initial surah. It happens to be the 24th initial surah in the Quran, in the compilation verse, and 19th initial surah that was revealed. So that's why it's 19 times 24. The index of 456, actually 368, but 368 is actually the number of Hamim in chapter 43. And so we started with 431, remember? See, it's up here, okay. 431, 43, one, Hamim, okay. So it came back to tell you that, yes, there it is, okay? And uh, anyway, I've had those. Those are very old stuff that I just told you, but, you know, but I, I had to tell you because, because again, as I said, this, this goes on and on and on, and there is no end to this. And so for our own good, we have to pay attention. We have to increase our knowledge. There is a lot of stuff available for us, okay? A lot of stuff are available for us, and we have to we have to make sure that we use them, okay. And again, be very careful when we accuse the scriptures of not being this and that the others, not according to our whim, which is which is really an ignorant approach, okay? Because we do not never question ourselves: Do I know this really? Do I know the meaning of these words? We've used this a lot a lot of times, but do we know it? Or just because we have this notion of what they mean, that's, they must mean that. Okay? It doesn't work that way, my friends. Okay? The meanings are not going to go away because you didn't know it. They're there. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here and we'll finish our drama. Allahul Kabir.